Dorian is being blamed on at least seven deaths in the Bahamas, and unfortunately that number is only expected to rise. But already relief efforts are being organized here in central Florida to help people affected. News 6's Mike Holfeld spoke with a doctor who is getting ready to head to the islands with some critical medical supplies. He joins us now live in the newsroom with the latest on this. Mike. Thanks, Lisa. Hi, everyone. The first attempt to deliver 500 pounds of basic medical supplies by helicopter failed. Dr. John Shedd telling News 6 the crosswinds were too difficult. It was impossible to land. The target? Turtle Green Key, a place he knows very well. Dorian's vicious dismantling of the Bahamas is a vivid reminder of what could have been for Central Florida and much of the state. I'm not sure exactly when or how this will occur, but I do know that there are a lot of good people working on it. Now Dr. John Shedd, the former medical director of Volusia County, is launching a medical relief recon mission to get badly needed medicine to families in Green Turtle Key, considered part of the Abaco Out Islands, three miles long, only half a mile wide. I spoke to him by phone Wednesday. As you can imagine, people are extremely desperate. And uh, to establish a landing zone now with a helicopter might be difficult because of the desperation. So we're doing our best to, you know, get the supplies there where they're needed. The challenge is logistics. Green Turtle can only be reached by boat. There is no airport. So Shedd and his team are trying to secure a special amphibious aircraft. There's an amphibious Cessna caravan that's on floats that has a, an incredible, uh, they, they can carry something like a 4,000 pound load. Shedd was the island doctor during Hurricane Katrina. Fourteen years later, he tells News 6, the challenge this time is much greater. My reaction to what I've seen is that this is like Hurricane Katrina that I was involved in uh, on a smaller but a much more devastating level. I do know that there are some of the elderly people that are probably not in as good of health as they were prior to this mass destruction, and, you know, it's just going to get worse. Shed sent us this photo of medical supplies ready to be brought in to the Bahamas. The question is, how will these people support themselves five, ten years from now if tourism is, is no longer a, a, a means of generating resources? And to that issue, Lisa, Dr. Shedd has set up a GoFundMe account for the families impacted by Dorian. He tells News 6 the money will go to the families who literally have lost everything except the clothes on their backs. And we'll be joining him in the Bahamas over the next few weeks uh, on these relief missions and chronicling it all. Back to you. And Mike, do you know, is that GoFundMe account on ClickOrlando.com right put now? It, I'm glad you said that. I'm going to put it on right now. I have not had a chance to write this. We just got uh, the doctor on the phone. But yes, I want everyone to get involved. This is very, very important. He said it at 100000 Lisa. We're going to try to escalate that to 250000 and help these families in the Bahamas. Any amount of money that anyone can donate will go a long way. Mike, thank you.